So, Ted, what donuts did you have, and what did you think about them? Raw oh, pity. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the donut was great. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Las Vegas and Beyond. And today we are downtown near Fremont Street. <laughs> Trying to vlog with a bus driving by, but I am here with the usual suspects. That's Joe. What's up guys? Mark. How's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> Ted, well actually we're waiting on Ted. I haven't figured out if parking is free during the week and all of the meters are off. So if you know if parking during the week is free downtown, leave me a comment. So today's video may be a short one. We're gonna go check out the donut bar. So if you're new to the channel, please think about clicking on that subscribe button down below. I just want you guys to get a look at what I'm about to buy. That's the strawberry split. Oh, not the big papa tart? Not the big papa tart? No. Aren't you a big papa tart? Bite me. <laughs> Do you have a bite That's me donut? Amazing. <laughs> I recommend our last two of our bacon options. We candy our bacon, so I highly recommend these. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, and then we I've got Jeff here, who's hey the guys. owner of the Donut Bar. Jeff, how's it going? Doing great. Yeah, how's business been? Uh, it's a little, it's been a little slow with what's going on, but uh, they're still trickling in. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this: his donut selection is dwindling down. It's only a little after 10 or 10:30, and he said I need to get here at 7. So if you're coming to the Donut Bar and you want a lot of choices. Get here at seven. Get down here early, before before noon if you can, because we sell out quick. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, we make a French toast donut and a uh, grilled cheese donut made to order. Oh, did you hear that? Grilled cheese, that sounds awesome. Thanks, Jeff, appreciate it. You got it. Oh, and they also have a today's menu. They have a bar that's full of empty bourbon bottles which they use in their maple bourbon donut bars. You can also see that they do have the splash guards. Thank you. I need to get a donut, like pronto. What's your favorite? <laughs> I love creme brulee. Yeah, okay, yeah, creme, br creme brulee. I'm getting the creme brulee. Do you guys do uh, click click or Apple Pay or? Yeah, we, we, we can do that. I mean, what's ever easier for you? Right here. Yeah, whatever is convenient for you. We have that thing too, so yeah. So we're actually in the patio area. This is the back patio, which we can sit and socially distance in. And it's behind the donut bar. So if you haven't tried it, what you do is after you get your donut, go all the way through. Yes, be socially distanced. <laughs> go all the way through and out the patio. <laughs> and it's pretty cool back here. I'm gonna interview the guys. What was, what was your donut, what'd you have? Yes, Alan. I had a strawberry <laughs> donut, it was amazing. I suggest that you all come down to the donut bar and have one yourself. Why is everybody filming me? <laughs> <laughs> 
So, Ted, what donuts did you have, and what did you think about them? Well, Piggy, I, <laughs> I thought the donut was great. You know, I thought I had a pink donut. I was from this. I can't do Kermit. What the hell? How do you say the Kermit? Uh, yeah, I had a pink donut called the Homer. Okay. Yeah, it was good. And then you had red velvet? I did. And? The Homer was good. Okay. I mean, I enjoyed that Over one. Two. The Homer, the Homer was good. Okay. I enjoyed the Homer. Right. Joe, your I gotta, thoughts. I had to do an interview with Alan because uh, he... <laughs> because I forgot my audio. He didn't do any audio, so I have to <laughs> re-talk about my donut that I had. So, let's go. <laughs> so, I had the red velvet donut, and I had the uh, bacon maple... Was it bacon maple chocolate right. bacon donut or something like that? And out of the two, I have to say that the bacon maple donut was far superior than the red velvet. Although I do love red velvet donuts... Could you taste any of the bourbon in the maple bourbon bacon? I don't know. Okay. Whatever I was bourbon tasting bacon. was super good. <laughs> okay. It was super good, though. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, sir. So once you come out of the donut bar and you make a right, if you just go, I don't know, 500 feet, here is DT Alley. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Sorry, Ted was filming and I walked right in his frame. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you've been to the donut bar and used that Say Hi to Matthew discount and what your favorite donut was. Also, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. because I'm the oldest guy. So when these guys get to 57, 58 years old, let's see what they remember. I'm never gonna be that old. <laughs>